interested to know what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a PTZ camera? In this video, I will be talking about the good and bad of installing PTZ cameras. Hi, my name is Sibin, a security surveillance expert and also the founder of Trinity Computer Solutions. I often get queries from IT department and security department heads asking me on what are the drawbacks of installing a PTZ camera. That's when I thought I'll make a video and share with you about the various pros and cons of using a PTZ camera. Now to understand what a PTZ camera is, how they work and where it can be installed, please watch our earlier videos. Today we will try to understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of using these cameras and what all do we need to look at while deciding if we need to go for a camera or not. Now talking about the various advantages of these cameras, the first one. We can monitor large areas comfortably. Since these cameras have pan, tilt and have zoom capabilities of up to 150 meters, we can cover far more space than a regular camera. Typically, these cameras are used to survey an area that would be too expensive or impossible to cover with these fixed lens cameras. Hence, the cost of coverage per given area is much reduced. The second one. With the help of manual controls, the security personnel have the ability to look at exactly what they need and when they need. We can track down on a suspect and take control of a situation and take necessary action to prevent the crime or incident from happening. Third one, with the option of pattern available in these cameras, no one needs to manually sit and monitor the area and the camera automatically follows a predefined pattern and scans the area periodically. Fourth one, it also helps in reducing blind spots with more coverage in an area than what our regular cameras can do. Fifth one, it also provides flexible viewing angles without having to move the camera or reposition the camera physically. Now talking about the disadvantages of these cameras, the first one, the major disadvantage is the limited view we get with these cameras. For example, if the camera is looking at a specific location and the incident has happened somewhere else, the camera has no ability to capture that event. The second one, there is a misconception among people that these cameras can capture 360 degrees. Although there are a couple of cameras which can actually capture more than 180 degrees, the majority of the PTZ cameras can record only where the lens is focused. The third one, to get the best out of these cameras, it's good if we have a dedicated person or a live operator to monitor the movements of these cameras. The fourth one, the position of the PTZ camera lens will indicate the focus area of the camera. So an attacker can sneak into the blind spot of the camera and gain entry easily if he studies the movement pattern of these cameras for some time. The fifth and the last one, it's not recommended to put these cameras in high security places because when these cameras rotate, it's obvious that the opposite location will be a blind spot. So these cameras can only be used for general surveillance. Even if you need to put these cameras in a high security location, we always recommend you to install a secondary camera as a backup. Now these are a few advantages and disadvantages of using PTZ cameras and hope you found these informations helpful and that you can make a wiser decision while choosing these cameras. Do let us know what are the other advantages and challenges you faced while using these cameras in the comments below. Don't forget to like our page and subscribe to our channel. This is Sibin signing off. See you in my next video. Thank you.